Months, uh, back in Florida, the former president plans to hold a rally with invited guests tonight at his Mar-a-Lago in uh, estate, and we're going to dissect the political aspects of all of this. Mississippi Southern District Public Service Commissioner Dane Maxwell, who worked on the Trump 2016 campaign, joins us now live on the 4 o'clock show. Uh, Commissioner, good to see you, and thanks for being with us. Oh, good to see you, Dave, and thanks for having me. You know, you're a Trump supporter. Neither of us are lawyers, so let's try to stay away from the legal issues and kind of concentrate on the politics. What do you think of the Manhattan DA going after the former president on basically what are federal matters? Well, it's, it, it's a shame. It's a, it's a terrible situation for the country. It's just dividing us more. And um, quite frankly, I think it does nothing but uh, expand his base. Uh, he's coming out of this with a big uh, hit upwards in the polling now, and he's raising a lot more money. So, I mean, people people understand what he's looking at, and people understand, uh, you know, how how they beat up on him constantly. So, we'll see how it works out, though. You know, I uh, cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but there was there was a photographer in there. I thought the former president, Dane, I don't know if you saw it, you were telling me you were listening on the radio. He actually looked mad to me. He wasn't smug. There we can see a photograph right there. Uh, in any way, he wasn't smiling. He, he actually, he was staring people down and looked mad to me. Well, I've known him for a long time. We're good friends and I can tell you that he wasn't happy. Uh, that, you know, he's been dealing with uh, just a variety of barraging him from every different direction since he came down the escalator. Uh, he's a tough guy and he uh, he's a straight shooter and he's he's probably going through a lot of emotions right now. Uh, the judge could have imposed a gag order, but did not. That means uh, Donald Trump could not have commented on the case or he would have faced contempt of court charges. Uh, were you kind of surprised the judge decided not to put that gag order in place? I was simply because uh, the DA there had already leaked out a bunch of stuff to the media. They already knew what the indictment count was, uh, and it was a sealed indictment. So he should have put the gag order on them a long time ago. And uh, but we'll see how uh, we'll see how uh, this plays out too. Because at the end of the day, I, I believe uh, President Trump's going to listen to his legal counsel and and he's going to stay quiet on a lot of those issues. You know, it kind of puts. Republicans in in the corner on this. A lot of Republicans uh, yeah. don't know how to to whether or not to defend President Trump or what. And then those who might be running for president or have already announced are also in kind of a sticky situation. How do you think all that's going to play out? Well, you know, I think they've all come out in support of of him uh, and this indictment process because the reality is is you know this could have been done to the other side during Hillary Clinton's time and Bill Clinton's time it sets a terrible precedent and uh, and so they they understand what an impact this is to the nation and how much more it divides us and so I, I whether they agree with him on policy or not or how to get there or whether he stays off of Twitter and and the, some of the the things that he says they understand the importance to our nation today what with this happening and it's a terrible it's a terrible situation remember they you you know this as well as i do there's people all over the world looking at this and it just shows our enemies that we're more divided and okay dane we're out of time uh two questions and a yes and no answer can trump win the republican nomination and can trump win a general election yes to, yes to both of them Really? Okay, well, yeah. remained, uh, that all remains to be seen. Uh, Mar-a-Lago already a rally tonight, and he'll yeah. continue to be out there rallying. We know that. Southern District uh, Public Service uh, Commissioner Dane Maxwell, always appreciate your insight, Dane, and thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you.